whenever our film goes to, it's like an exam. It's like result time. When we finished a film, it's going to censor. It's like an exam time. You say, oh God, what is going to happen? It's finally going to depend on those five people. But with the experience of four films, I can say that they have been liberal. Because I finally made a film on religion. I finally made a film on Mahatma Gandhi. And they have been pretty liberal, I would say. And uh, see, there would be. It is so subjective. Censorship is so subjective. Uh, you know, some people will have problem. They, they were, even within this committee, there were some people who had a problem. But there's always a review committee. There's always uh, uh, somebody else who can, you can appeal to. You can still go to court and uh, uh, solve this. Uh, but by and large, I think there's an intention to, uh, uh, and right now they're talking about certification. They're saying we are going to make it a body where it's going to be only certification and not censoring of any sort. When I went through this huge problem with PK, many people got down and they wanted to ban the film when it released. As I'm saying, the, what the media reported was very little what I was facing. Yeah. And there was a huge attempt. Letters were being written to the ministry. The minister said the film has been certified by the, this thing. We will not. We will. And then somebody told me that there's a chance that the state might stop. So they said the center will not do it. State in the garb of using law and order situation as a problem, they will try and stop the film. So suddenly one day in Bombay, I heard that uh, a state minister got up and said, uh, uh, we will review the film. And the film was only, I think, 14, two weeks in the theaters. And I got really worried. I said, the film is doing extremely well. I don't want the state now to stop the film under the garb of flood. So I, in the morning, actually, I didn't know the CM. I got his house number, called up his house. I said, I want to speak to the CM. And uh, the guy who picked up the phone, I told him my name. His first reaction was, he said, I have a film, I can get two tickets. I said, I'll give you the tickets, but let me reach the CM. So he said, he's in a meeting at BKC. Uh, he gave me the number of his PA. I called up the PA. In five minutes, Mr. Fadnavis called me back and he said, I had to explain the situation, situation to him. He said, there's a mistake. The film will not be stopped. It's been, a, it's been censored. We will make sure the film is not stopped. So they actually gave me a lot of protection. Chhattisgarh, everywhere, wherever these problems were happening, there was a lot of state support. So I think there's an intent, there's an intent uh, uh, to do the right things. constant live in fear that uh, uh, something could be censored and people keep talking. Uh, I mean, you because just also you... we live in a society where censorship is not only in film censorship, it's all around us. Yeah. It's all around. It's in, in, in behavior. It's in, in dressing. It's in, 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 in now in eating. The fear. You, know? you talked about fear. Yeah, there is fear. There's constant fear. Like when you, who, Suhash was telling me yesterday that some professor of a university said that, uh, uh, the girls shouldn't come in jail. The girls in some some state, I don't know where, but the girls shouldn't wear jeans because they're exciting the the male students there. Now it is it's actually rubbish. But when people make this kind of irresponsible statements, to me, actually even banning beef, you're, you're controlling somebody's yeah. uh, uh, food habits. Yeah. Uh, but it's a, we actually as a society have to grow. There has to be no censorship for us as a society to grow, because even behavior, you know, when you give a when a boy is playing with a doll, you say, hey, oh, you're a boy, you're not supposed to play with a doll. You're differentiating there. As a girl, you're not supposed to sit like this, you're supposed to sit cross like it. So, 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 you're censoring things, you're censoring behavior, you're censoring many things. So I guess as a society, we need to get, and I think we are still teenagers as a, as a country. As a society. Where, uh, so I think this would not exist in many other countries. Like keeping a gun in America is valid. It's not valid here. So different laws of the land, different things, I think will grow. But there has to be a big attempt to say that there has to be no censorship. Then only there'll be exchange of ideas. Then only people will see another viewpoint. From the beginning, knew that it's not going to be a very uh, a popular film. And if you ask me, I have to honestly tell you, I was very scared. I kept on changing the script. My first draft was like Inception where this PK had the power to go into somebody's mind and change his thought. And I wanted to say that we are a product of what our experience is. So if you can change that experiences, you will start believing that life is different. Then Inception came, I had to change. Then Oh My God came, again I had to change. So I was constantly changing. If you ask me honestly, I was not completely happy with the film, especially with the second half, and which is the same criticism I got for the film. Uh, 
So I was saying, okay, let this do reason. Just if it does, okay, we recover our cost, nobody loses money, I'll be happy. Finally, we didn't did uh, 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 more than... Most of your films do? More than any, I mean, this is the biggest grosser ever. And I don't know how it did that. I, I don't want to get into a number game or whatever. But to me, I still see flaws in that film. There are tremendous flaws in it. Because religion is such a vast subject. I someday want to make a documentary on religion. Because the moment I try to say many things about religion in the film, it becomes very preachy. They say, oh, it's going to be preachy. The moment I reduce it, it becomes frivolous. I couldn't find the perfect balance of entertainment and my message, which I managed to find in Three Idiots. I didn't. To me, Three Idiots is still a far more entertaining film than PK is. But I think this is a far more important message. The, the, the flight of this film was higher. The flight of this film was difficult. So I'm glad we attempted it and we got away with it.